begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the beautiful weather that you give us. Thank you for our wonderful students and, and families. Please be with us each and every day. Guide us in all things that we do. And please help us continue to form and educate young men and women each and every day. In your name we pray. Amen. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you all for joining. Um, I'm going to go over some information uh, briefly, and uh, then obviously you can always put questions in on the chat, but go through a couple things here really quick. Uh, updates to the COVID situation. Uh, we're doing a really good job. Uh, everybody's doing a great job of wearing masks, socially distancing. Um, right now, we only have the one case in our building that was communicated mm -hmm. um, yesterday. So that that's the only case that we have right now. Um, that person wasn't in school when they were infectious. Uh, so, but that one case um, is all that we have right now. We need to continue to do a good job, not, not let our guard down. So keep washing your hands, keep wearing the mask, keep being socially distant um, whenever you can, uh, especially in environments that you might be unaware of uh, cleaning procedures and uh, air quality, things like that. But it's important to, to stay up on all those things and to make sure that you're always um, prepared with hand sanitizer, et cetera. Um, students have been doing a great job in school with their mask wearing, social distancing, mm -hmm. um, doing a good job in the classrooms with uh, making sure that we're six feet apart, cleaning's going well, we, we did add some uh, additional cleaning measures now that we're kind of full swing in with the musical and with show choir and uh, a lot of things in the gym. So we've added another uh, backpack uh, electrostatic cleaner um, to help with larger venues. It just jumps on your back instead of the handheld sprayer. Uh, so for those larger venues and, and kind of give us two so we can um, tackle it with two people. Uh, but things are going well on that standpoint, and we just need to make sure uh, we continue to do our part across the board. One thing that I had to share with uh, Douglas County is now it's starting to become uh, flu season a little bit. So if you can get your flu shots early, that would be preferred. Um, I know that some places are uh, starting already next week or the week after with flu shots, but um, they are suggesting that if you can get those flu shots mm -hmm. early, that would be preferred. Um, so you might contact your healthcare provider or your physician and see what's available for flu shots. I know some uh, school districts offer those. Um, we don't here at school, but uh, for their staff and things like that. Uh, so uh, anytime you can get that flu shot a little bit earlier, that will help out the population as well, just because of the signs and symptoms being so similar. Um, so flu shots are important and just wanted to pass that along from my Douglas County Health uh, meeting this week. Um, so the state of Nebraska, everybody but Lancaster County opened up into phase four, um, but each and every school district and conference and school basically has their own policies and procedures in place to keep everybody safe uh, when attending events inside, outside, or just coming to school. And right now we, we're working under the same policies and procedures that we've, we had last year, or last, sorry, not last year, last week. Um, but we did add uh, one addition for this, for tonight's game. Um, we're allowing seniors to come in. Um, we put dots on the track uh, over in the one end zone, six feet apart. They're bringing their lawn chairs. Uh, student participation is an important part of uh, all activities and high school events. So we're we're trying this out right now and, and seeing how it works and then hopefully expanding that more. Uh, then we'll, we, we have another evaluation process after tonight and then some of this weekend's activities and plan on um, hopefully continue to move forward with adding additional family members uh, to groups and, and adding additional people to groups. But we, we have to be in mind that uh, we can't get too big because 
Uh, our stadium is different than some others uh, and the fact that we need to make sure that we have proper spacing for the, our groups that are here, whether that's uh, the, the pep band at, at games or the dancer cheerleaders. So they all have the, the appropriate spacing um, and then we can get their families uh, spaced out as well. So if things go well, uh, tonight and tomorrow, we'll keep proceeding forward. We'll uh, evaluate it on our, in our admin meeting next week and our leadership meeting there, and then continue it to evolve with our, our policies on allowing uh, additional fans to the games. But uh, what, I, when, what I've been hearing from other conferences and other schools that uh, each one is a little bit different. And as, they, as this kind of opens up, you'll be seeing some different rules as we travel to away games or events. So, you know, next week will be like for football, for instance, we're at on a Thursday night over at Elkhorn High School Stadium against Elkhorn North. EMC has different regulations than the RCC. We try to follow uh, the RCC. Um, so that's where uh, we're kind of going and the RCC has a little bit smaller schools and, and the smaller venues, um, et cetera. So we kind of have to uh, stick a little bit with our conference um, on that, but we're trying to do some things. We're the first, I believe, the RCC school that's allowing uh, additional students in at this time. So um, we're kind of their guinea pig, I guess you'd say a little bit uh, to see how that is working. Um, a couple things uh, on that are coming up and down the pipe, uh, Big the Musical is October 1st and 3rd at 7.30. So October 1st and 3rd at 7.30. And then again on October 4th, which is a Sunday at 2 p.m. Uh, that will be take place outside. So it's out back uh, where we kind of have the, the tents for lunch, um, but pushed out a little bit further. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool that how they have it. It's going to be set up and they're bringing in lighting um, and some sound and things like that uh, to make it a pretty special venue out there. And it's surrounded by the choir room in the, the back of the stage. But uh, we'll have everybody socially distanced um, out there. So uh, be on the lookout and you can look in weekly communication to buy tickets for that as well. But we, we have a limited number of, of seats because of social distancing, et cetera. But we, we think with the three performances, uh, we'll be able to host everybody. Uh, there is a rain date on there as well, just in case, but the knock on wood, the forecast is looking uh, pretty good um, for that as well. And the kids have been working really hard. So uh, pretty proud of that group for, for working through what was supposed to happen in the spring with the musical, now into the fall um, going forward. Jumping gears a little bit to National Honor Society. Um, National Honor Society, on September 10th, those people with a 3.7 GPA or higher uh, that are juniors and seniors were notified if they were eligible for National Honor Society. Um, they were instructed to fill out further information and, and get the, the entire application filled out by September 30th. Mm. So if your son or daughter did get that information in an email back, uh, make sure they get their stuff in by September 30th so that they can uh, have the pop proper uh, things done for the National Honor Society. It's great, great honor for all students that are eligible for that. Um, and Mrs. Thielen mm. um, and Mrs. Tocek, do, do, they are the sponsors for that. So if you have any questions, contact Ms. Tocek or, or Mrs. Thielen um, for more information on National Honor Society. But I just wanted to mention uh, that that group and that honor, uh, things are coming down to the end there to get the information in. So make sure you get that, that in. Uh, Angel Flight Lottery tickets, everybody should have received a couple of those. Uh, we're, we're asking for everybody to uh, try to sell two of those. The deadline for winning $1,000 off your fax account is next Friday. Um, and the first dress down day, I believe, is coming up on the 22nd for those that sell their tickets. So they, they have dress down days included with those uh, lottery ticket sales um, as well. So. Um, if you if you can get those in, if you can sell them to your neighbors, to your family members, etc., that would be a great help. Uh, that that goes to support Angel Flight and the operating costs of the the school there for Angel Flight lottery tickets. If you do need more tickets, we have more tickets available as well. So um, if you want to, if you have the ability to sell more or, or want to take more chance to win that ten thousand dollar prize, 
Uh, we do have uh, a program for our teachers, uh, Stock the Lounge is going on right now and you can sign up through weekly communications. And what we do is we kind of um, ask for non-perishables, granola bars, Cheez-Its, um, crackers, all these different things are listed out on the sign up and, and bring them in and then we put them in uh, the teachers on for our teachers to have snacks and, and things to keep them uh, refreshed and energized throughout the day and the, the teachers love that and uh, they like seeing the new stuff come in uh, for stock the lounge and give them a little treat uh, throughout the week so uh, you can sign up through that through the weekly communications um, or just bring things into the office and we'll take them down to the to the lounge. Uh, activity passes are now available. Uh, we were not selling activity passes uh, before but now we are now that things are kind of looking like uh, they're going to continue to evolve and open up uh, and those activity passes are good for our home events uh, so anything at our venues uh, we still are accepting cash uh, for games and and things like that but if you play multiple sports uh, have children that play multiple sports do multiple things um, it would it might save you some money down the line uh, to, to get an activity pass and then um, it's just usually easier because you can just hold up your pass and, and go on in. So activity passes are available in the weekly communication. There's a Google form on there. Um, if you're ever wondering about the weekly communication as well, if you go on our website and at the very top, it says current families. If you just click on that and scroll down, um, it, that current family section has a lot of information that you can just click on and learn uh, more information about different things here at the school. But at the, towards the bottom, it has a weekly communications link so you can see the archived weekly communications and and always keep up to date on everything uh, we do try to release the weekly communications every friday um, right after school and at the latest it'd be on mm -hmm. saturday so we're, we continue to try to to get that out on friday for the next week um, so that we can keep those communications going um, the Reminder that Hocktober starts on October 1st. I know everybody's favorite month of the year. Uh, the Hocktober t-shirts just came in. I saw them all, you know, there's a lot of boxes that come in and, and those will get passed out to students next week. Everybody gets their grade t-shirt. So it's color coordinated with uh, freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors. Um, but Hocktober is an exciting time here at Scott Catholic. And uh, we, we enjoy the month, we try to do a different different themes, different events. It's, it's all homecoming week is, is that week. And again, we're not having a homecoming dance, but we're planning on doing um, royalty for homecoming, theme for homecoming, everything but the dance. We're not able to have the dance right now. It's just uh, Douglas County is saying it's probably not a good idea. It's hard to be socially distanced and dancing at the same time. Um, so right now we're holding that off on the dance part and hoping to maybe get an extra dance in at the end of the, the year or uh, figure out something else to to make up for that um, lost experience there. So um, October is coming up. I have some important dates that will be put in the weekly communications, but I just thought I'd, I'd kind of talk about them right now. So we have right here, we have October 14th. So I don't, you might not be able to read this, but um, I'm going to do some old school teaching methods here on Zoom. Um, October 14th, that's all ninth through 11th graders will be taking the PSAT test. In order to finish in time for parent-teacher conferences, we'll need to start school at 7.50. So on October 14th, we'll go back to our 7.50 a.m. start time. Seniors, seniors will not have school on October 14th. Okay, so... If you need to get in a, a visit or some virtual visits for colleges, October 14th is a good day. Dismissal will be around noon. So dismissal is around noon on this day because the test ends at different times for different classrooms, but it should be around noon on October 14th. Then that's when parent-teachers conferences are scheduled. So if you see on here, parent-teacher conferences are scheduled from one to four and from five to eight on October 14th. We're exploring different virtual options, but have not made any final decisions yet. Um, we're looking at a Zoom option um, and a Google Meet option. We're just trying to pick the right platform to do uh, virtually because they won't be in person for parent-teacher conferences, but that's how those will work. Next date, 
we got on here is October 15th. October 15th is parent teacher conferences that are scheduled from one to five. Okay, so October 15th scheduled one to five. Students have a noon dismissal on October 15th. Then we go to everybody's favorite, the day after conferences, October 16th, there's no school. So October 16th, no school on, on that day. The next one of the important dates is October 23rd. So October 23rd, there is no school as well. That's a day of preparation for angel flight. Um, even though the event is virtual, there are things that we have to get ready for here um, and set up the gym uh, with the virtual event and, and things of that nature. So October 23rd is no school as well. Then we're moving into November. And so November 2nd is on the schedule as freshman retreat, but it is postponed. We're looking at a different option for freshman retreat. Um, all students will have school on November 2nd. So November 2nd is freshman retreat. It's postponed. All students will be at school on November 2nd. Um, November 3rd. So on November 3rd, there is no school. And it's, um, we're used as a polling place and requiring the admittance of the general public into the building. Uh, this changes to remove students and staff from the building during this time that will limit exposure um, with the additional people coming into our building for, for a polling place. Uh, they usually use, the polling place uses the main gym for our polling spot and the, the lobby area. So we just think it's in our best interest because of a large election and we don't uh, need mixing of students and and other community members in at the same time and disinfecting and everything else. So November 3rd, there's no school on November 3rd. Then the next date is November 9th. So November 9th, there's no school. That's a faculty work day. Um, so November 9th, no school and a faculty work day. And then some family time because November 25th is when Thanksgiving break begins. So November 25th is that, that opening of Thanksgiving break, that's that Wednesday. Um, so those are some important dates coming up in October and November. Um, right now we don't have any scheduling changes. I know there was a topic last week about changing the day schedule or scheduling changes towards uh, the second semester or things like that. Right now, there are no additional changes. I kind of want to keep everybody up to speed. Um, so in about two weeks, we'll, we'll talk again about those breaks on, in October and November. And then um, as we continue to get closer to the end of the semester, looking at semester tests and things, um, we'll keep everybody posted on that. But that's a little too far out yet. So I uh, wanted to just go over the October and November uh, important dates on there for um, days off and parent-teacher conferences. And you'll be getting emails on signing up for parent-teacher conferences and things like that. But I uh, thought we should go over that as well. Um, again, if you, I'm going to start looking at the chat now um, and some questions on email. So uh, if you do have any questions, go ahead and put them in the chat. Uh, Yes, cheer, dance, pet band, still parents only. Um, we're going to probably, well, we, as everything goes well, then it will be siblings and, and, poss and probably grandparents uh, at our October 2nd game against Ralston. That would be our next home game. Um, so just trying to keep every, everything moving along. Um, remote learners, we're looking at the PSAT. Um, right now, we're looking at a, at a possible makeup or they're, they're checking into the remote option because they said it, it possibly could be available. Um, I don't have uh, firm information on remote learning for the PSAT. I'll try to get that um, to everybody and we'll put that in the weekly communications, but I'll email you separately um, on that. But uh, we'll get October t-shirts to them as well. We can, we can mail those home to the people that aren't, that are in remote learning, um, right now, either short-term, long-term, um, but we can get those October t-shirts to people that are remote learning. 
Um, check my email quick to see if there's any additional questions on here. Does anybody else have any questions on the chat right now? So I don't have any questions on, on my email right now. So, well, again, I thank everybody for joining us uh, and for these informational sessions. I hope they're uh, valuable to everybody. Uh, junior retreat has not been rescheduled yet. That just came in on the chat. Um, right now, we're kind of working with the, the groups that we, we go out to Camp Kataki or Carol Joy Hauling Center or um, the retreat center out in Elkhorn. And they're kind of still closed up a little bit right now. So we're, we're looking at different things as far as retreats go. If we do not um, use retreat funds, we'll refund those. Um, but we are looking at different options for retreats. They, they're important, but we're kind of reimagining what we can do um, as far as retreats uh, go. But um, right now, we're a little bit limited because the places that we go aren't allowing people or they're allowing people in different uh, sizes of groups. And, and we want to try to continue to do things um, right now as a whole class, but that might change as well. Um, but we, we know that's a very important part of the spiritual process is to having a deeper dive into your faith and, and with your classmates and things. Um, so we're trying to look at some different events. Um, we're looking into an, a, a Blaze event here, hosting one here at Scott Catholic. Um, Christine French is working on that, which would be a, on a probably a Sunday evening um, out on the, the football field track area. So just some different faith-filled events for for students, but right now the retreats are still all on hold, um, kind of looking at how we can do those differently or if we just push them to second semester and see if we can do them as close to normal as possible. So, uh, and again, if we, don't, if we don't need the retreat fees because of the rental facility, renting those facilities and, and the, the food and things like that, then, then we'll refund the, the retreat fees uh, when, once we figure everything out. But um, other than that, I, I really don't have much more. Um, I, I enjoy having these informational sessions. Hopefully they're, they're informative and you have the ability to ask questions and, and we do store these on the website. So if you go to the COVID-19 page, uh, this video will be stored on the, on the website so you can go back and look or if, if other families are asking some of these same questions, you can point them to that video. Uh, but uh, that's all I have for today. Next week, we'll go over some new information and, and continue to keep you updated. Uh, but we'll continue to do these every Friday for a while, um, maybe the whole year. Um, but please, please keep uh, bringing questions on email um, and things like that. A uh, question just came through the chat. Is there homecoming? There is homecoming, but there's no homecoming dance. So there's still the week, the festivities, the dress down days, the um, royalty and things like that, but no dance. So um, there's still that homecoming themes and things like that. But uh, so I appreciate everybody uh, in their patience and their understanding during this pandemic and the things that we're trying to do. Uh, without your help and, and support, we wouldn't be able to do the things that we do. It really is appreciative when, when I see people, you know, hand washing hand sanitizing, wearing their masks, keeping socially distanced and, and doing that on the weekends as well. That, that keeps our kids in schools and, and our kids playing acti doing activities, uh, kids doing what they love to do. So it's, it's a little bit different, but as we keep going, uh, kids are able to do more and that's what we're all here for is to, to help kids and, and help them succeed so, and keep moving them forward. So I thank everybody for their help and, and support through that. So um, if we can end in prayer, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for the questions that, that are brought forward and the information given during this meeting. Please be with our families over the weekend. Help us stay safe and protected under your arm. In your name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the weather, and go Skyhawks! <laughs>